Hi, I'm Gary with Two Toes Adventures. Today we're heading out to catch some sand dabs. If you want to come along, I'll show you how it's done. Today we have little to no wind, real small drift, so uh, today would be an ideal day to catch sand dabs. So we're parked over some sand here, about 140 feet deep. Depth really doesn't matter, just as long as you got sand on the bottom. So uh, let's get our uh, pole set up so we can get some sand dab. Okay, what we got here is a little sand dab rig I've had, uh, I've been using it for a couple of years now. Um, I use a fairly large hook, heavy hook. Um, a large hook uh, keeps the little tiny sand dabs off. Uh, that way you can catch uh, the, the larger sand dabs. Now I only put three hooks on this rig. A lot of people use a lot more. Um, I'm in no big hurry to catch them. That's why I'm out here fishing. I'm in no big hurry to do anything. So uh, three at a time is plenty for me. Uh, with three hooks you don't get snagged up as much, tangled up as much. But uh, basically that's the rig, a weight on the bottom and uh, three bait hooks. Now uh, for bait, I'm going to use squid. It's a good tough bait, stays on the hook real well. Okay, when you're uh, cutting your bait, want some, uh, you know, not real big, not real small, just uh, chunks of the, the squid. Now when you're baiting your hook, Nothing fancy, just stick the hook through the bait. Uh, you don't have to worry about hiding your hook or anything like that. You just want to hook it on there so it's, uh, it won't come off. And on my top hook, I always put my largest piece. And that's it. Okay, now you just take and uh, drop it in. I like to cast it out a little bit so you're not going straight down under your line. Then you just let her free spool to the bottom. Now, once you hit the bottom, just let it sit there for a minute and then you'll start getting little bites. And when you get a bite, you just set the hook, let it settle back down again. Okay, we're not getting any more bites, so let's reel her up and see what we got. And we got us three sand dabs. All fairly decent size. Now what we'll do is we fill a bucket full of water and we keep them alive. Now you just unhook your sand dab and drop them in the bucket. Now that's the uh, advantage of using these big hooks. They, they have a real hard time swallowing the hook, so it's really easy to get them off the hook. Now we just untangle this a little bit and uh, throw it back in and get some more. Okay, we've let it back down to the bottom. Now once you drop down, you let it sit there for a bit. And, uh, now if you're not getting bites, uh, you just let it drift um, if you got a little drift going. If not, you can go ahead and move. I wouldn't sit in one spot too long if you're not getting bites. Just go ahead and move a little bit. You'll find them. There's, there's a lot of them down there. Okay, if you drop down, you get some bites and uh, bring it up and you got a little rockfish on there, um, that's a good indication you're not over sand, you're over sand and rocks. Um, you need to move out of that spot. You don't want to be catching little rockfish. Uh, when you get in a good location for sand dabs, you pretty much won't catch anything but sand dabs. Uh, occasionally you'll, you'll hook a little sand shark, but uh, other than that, uh, a good location for sand dabs is just plain sand. Now we just do the same thing. Feel for those bites. There's a little bite there. And just, just a little tug on the rod is all you need. Just set that hook. Now 
Got to make sure you let it settle down so the uh, top bait can get close to the bottom. That's all there is to it, and we got us a nice bucket of uh, sand dabs here. Well, that's all there is to it, the catching sand dabs. Pretty simple uh, project. All you need is some uh, squid for bait, a sandy bottom, a little bit of time, and uh, you can get a bucket full of sand dabs. Now we can take sand dabs, clean them up, and eat them. They're great eating. Or we can take them over into the rocks and uh, catch some big old lingcod with them. Either way, the nice thing is when you're done lingcod fishing, the bait you got left over, you can have for dinner. Now, if you like adventure, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing a couple more fishing videos before I get out of here. And then from here, we're heading straight up to the Sierras. We're going to do some gold mining and some treasure hunting. Till then, you have a wonderful day.